Hello, I'm Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Welcome to our whiteboard session today on the five biggest challenges as a PM. Well, there's all types of research out there by the Forrester Group, Garner Group on stakeholder buy-in, uh, managing expectations, all types of things. But these are actually the top five that I think project managers encounter the most. So number one is dispelling PM myths about project managers and project management in general. It's the, the myth of that project managers are just paper pushers. They're just working on admin, administrative stuff. That they're bullies. They're the ones who are always on my back about things. And they get in the way. They give me too much extra stuff to do. They just add extra work to the project. Those are myths that I think project managers spend a lot of time working on trying to dispel just to get the credibility back into their role and to the field of project management. Number two, keeping up. There's so much going on now in no matter whether it's your industry, whether it's technology, but it's keeping up not only on that, but also the changes that are occurring constantly on the project. So hang on, change is coming, because what happens is that changes the priorities, and when priorities change, you lose your resources, you lose your budget, you, um, things constantly change, you have to recraft and reorganize. The other one is staying relevant. So having the time to develop yourself, to learn what are the trends going on in my industry? What's the technology that people are using now? Organizations are incorporating using mobile phones, they're using social media, they're using new tools. Also policies. What kind of policies are affecting the environment, our industry, whether it's um, telecommunications, technology, real estate, uh, all types of industries, and what methods. There are all kinds of methods now and knowing which method is appropriate for your type of project. So it's finding time to develop yourself, get informed about what's happening in your industry, in your profession, and so that you can arm yourself with ways to stay more efficient. Number four is losing resources. So as, we, as things change in their higher priority projects, invariably you lose your people or your budget. You know, the critical resource, the superstar on your project that you fear, oh my God, if I lose that person, I am dead in the water. Well. Typically, we do. And then the budget, so budget gets reallocated to other projects. So therefore, you have to go back, reprioritize your work, change it, and that's constantly happening. And then the other one is standing firm. So there's a saying, there's actually a song that says, know when to hold them and when to fold them. I think it's harder to, to actually stand and hold them, meaning step up or go to bat for things in your group, whether it's resources trying to fight for, stand for the people so that you don't lose them. Go to your organization and let them know why it's important that you keep that resource. Or time. You may have to go back to your stakeholders and position and stand for, stand firm that you need more time. Things have changed. Actually go to your change control board. Then um, process changes. So there may need to be some process changes in your organization where you have to uh, change things in order to become more efficient. And then politics, dealing with the gremlin of politics in your organization. So it's harder to stand firm. I think if a project manager can overcome some of these challenges, then they can begin arming themselves to handle the other cha challenges, like the risk, the change, the managing stakeholders' um, expectations, and all those things that the other research um, reports back. If you're looking for a tool that can help you with your PM challenges, then sign up for our software at projectmanager.com.